Good morning, here we are again on Monday morning. It's starting Monday and uh, you know this is, this is Sammy. And Ollie. Hi, so thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully you're actually sitting down and giving us a watch because you've got five minutes in the day. Um, so enjoy relaxing yourself. So congratulations on that first of all. So here's the week. Yes, very good. Considering yes. the weather. Oh my God, oh, no. oh, I've had enough already, I'm off. So yeah, this is not great. But you're still running in the puddles, aren't you, Sammy? I went out this morning, so oh, yes, you can get out there, yeah, guys, there anyway. it's good for you. There was a thing the other day um, on a TV thing, and it was saying, oh, it's a cozy month, let's all just sit down in our duvets for, and hibernate until no. next May. But we're saying, get out there. Actually, I stretched. Yeah. I stretched in the gym this morning. In oh, the rain. did you? Yeah, you're crazy. I am. Anyway, so here we are. I um, hope you all had a great week. <laughs> we, um, just to congratulate everyone who's managed to get through another week doing their Stoptober. Amazing. I hope, you, hope you've all done another great job. Yes. So this is two weeks in and well, two weeks to go. So congratulations if you've made it through. So today we wanted to carry on with a little bit of the, the mental health stuff that we touched on last week because we just feel it is just so important and actually because we mentioned it last week mm. and because it was then so prolific in the all over the news and different uh, news articles through daytime tv yeah. etc even um, advertisements everywhere everywhere it's focused which, on which, mental well-being absolutely and i think because obviously harry and megan um being you know all, so famous it has really been a fantastic yeah. vehicle to really get the message out there without having all of the normal taboos that come along with it. So um, so I think, yeah, fantastic. And it got a lot of conversation going yeah. and it got us to talking about, because like I said, we don't really know each other that well, oh, yeah. apart from, you know, bumping each other in the gym. But it did mean that Sammy and I had quite a big discussion about our demons um, and how we deal with them and how maybe we recognise that mental illness yes. comes from not having mental health. So yes. there's t the two kind of different things, Shana. So totally if you, different. If you know how to keep well, yes. um, I don't know, using it as an analogy, you know, if you have lots of vitamin C, then you won't get colds. Then yes. if you have lots of mental health, yes. as in you know, you know and recognise the signs and understand that you were, that there's it's a your problem experiences. coming. What she's trying to say is, bless her, yeah. it's the experiences, our everyday circumstances that we're going through that yeah. cause us, it can cause you anxiety, it can cause you depression, it can just take you down. Yeah. And if you don't address those issues... But you know how hard that is, Shannon, because when we were talking, we were saying that at the point that it's actually happening to you, the causes... You never address them. You, you don't address no, them you at don't the time. Address them. You don't. Because you're... Because you're systematically working in the way you've worked all your life. Yeah, so, so it does take... It, unfortunately... You have to come out of your it box. It does take you to the point of being mentally unwell. Yeah. Isn't that you're either depressed or stressed or Just anxious. feeling down. What, how many yeah. times do we say, oh, I don't feel good today. Yeah. I'm not feeling very positive today. Yeah. We use the weather. We use, we, yeah. use it, we use our life's experiences of how we're feeling individually. In, in, exactly. So we, all, so we thought, mm. actually, like Harry, mm. um, grief, um, has definitely been. Shami, you touched on this last week. You last started talking week, about your dad. I, I spoke about having. I went for counselling, and to be fair and honest, I'm going to be totally honest. I didn't go straight away. Yeah. When my father died, it was a sudden death. He got okay. pancreatic cancer. Died within three months of being okay. diagnosed, and the same year, the same time, my mum was diagnosed with a benign tumour. So okay. I looked at the positivity of, at the end of the journey, one parent survived and I okay. never addressed, although I was very, up, you know, with the specialists when we were talking, I was, out of all my siblings, I was the one that wanted to know what was the end, okay. what was so going so to happen. So you took it all on I took the family. took the lead on to okay. address what was happening with my dad and then, but I never addressed 
how I felt. I knew I was upset. We were all upset, but I never individually addressed it. And I carried well, on with the strong one. Yeah, you were being a strong one. And I, I went into my life and I carried on it, and it went on for another seven years. Seven years. And my son, yeah. my youngest son, had a major car accident, oh. and I saw he he survived. Bless him. He had, you know, it was quite a bad accident. Yeah, yeah. And we've talked about it, so I, and, I know. And I, that. I'm, it took me to death. Yeah. And I, and from there, it took me another seven or eight weeks to go to the doctor to get a sick note. I didn't even go to get a sick note. I just went off work and said I couldn't come to work. My son had had an accident. And when I got to the doctors, and he said it to me, yeah. I was so down and he said why yeah. are you so scared when your child is now on the road to recovery and I said I'm scared I'm going to lose him and he said why and I'm I hadn't addressed my loss right so then you I went to counseling yeah my doctor out, my doctor was about. amazing and yeah. he put me in the right direction and you know what the first time I went for counseling and I'm I'm an individual who is very loud in my personality she is. <laughs> So <laughs> everyone thinks I address my own demons. You do, right? yeah. And, 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 yeah. and, and you know what? That's a mistake because we all, we all shadow in our subconscious. You just put it all back here in your subconscious. In, don't I talk, you? I talk in my subconscious. And I say, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Yeah. Right. But it wasn't alright. It wasn't alright. And when I went, you know, the first 25, 30 minutes of my one-hour session. I just cried. Well, you need to get it out. Didn't and you? she was amazing. Yeah. yeah. She took me, and she, where she has taken me, and where I am now, I can take my dad's pictures out. I can celebrate what we Fantastic. had. Fantastic. Last yeah. week was his birthday. Right. We were all depressed on the on the ninth of um, October. I went and sent everyone pictures on the WhatsApp group. Remember yeah. dad on his birthday. Remember he did this, yeah. and that is what good well-being is about yeah. celebrating it is. a part of your life that yeah you're, you're upset that the person has, got the end of, yeah. has gone yeah, from yeah. your life but you're celebrating the moments you had with that person so you've managed to turn to celebrate your dad yeah. than, because you've had the time to grieve yes and so you had to I, get that bit done i i, I agree and, done, and even last week i was laughing to my son thought you know you're upset it's your dad's birthday today and i and i took out pictures and i said i've sent this because your dad did this i got my dad was so funny oh yeah and we were both laughing and that is what well-being is about yeah it's getting to that point Love, where, you can, where really you can be happy in a sad part of your life which it, it's always going to be sad for me because i've lost so, it you're so right because it is about um being able to get past that really bad loss it, yeah. it's a loss and yeah. we all deal with different losses in our exactly. life no matter for all sorts of things, whether mm. that be, a, you know, um, sometimes it's friendship, sometimes, you know, it, it may not be a family member, yeah. it could be, it's just changes in your life where you feel like you haven't, it's almost like you haven't got what mm. you had before. Yes. And whatever that is, that can bring on a sense of not feeling so good. Exactly, good, exactly. Um, whatever that is. And, um, you know, I think it's been marvellous that, um, well, uh, well, just you and I doing this mm. thing, has made us sit down and actually have it really talk it out. Yeah. And I think that's what we we think is the most important thing is being able to be um, in an environment where you can talk to somebody. And if that doesn't lend itself in your everyday life, life if you're yes. not a particularly social person, like the winter now we're gonna be hibernating for the next four months. Yeah. Um, and don't do that. Get Please yourself out don't there. Don't do that. Come out. The yeah. rain is lovely. It is lovely. We're singing in the rain. Oh, no, you can only get so <laughs> wet, can't you? We're, we're pretty waterproof as human beings, so don't worry about that. But like, find somewhere where where you can be with other people, and I think that this is a, is a particularly um, challenging time of year because yeah. we've got nothing but the winter coming towards us. I'm a summer person, as you anyone that knows me will know. Um, and you know, I, I may actually feel the need to go and find some sun somewhere, maybe in, in January, if I'm lucky enough to be able to do that. But like, it's a difficult time of year, and I think I think it's good that the mental health thing has come up about at this time of the year. It makes us really think about what help we might need to get for ourselves, and um, we hope we hope that you can go and do that. Just talk to somebody. Talking. Uh, yeah. And take care. Uh, take care of yourself. Absolutely. So. 
So on a happy note, last week I said I was going to go off and try and find some volunteering work. Yes. So uh, thank you to everyone who got in contact with us. Um, got some great yeah. ideas. I put out a few feelers. Yes. I'm so um, I'm just them. waiting to mm. hear from a few people, set up some meetings, and then um, see what see what I'm going to do. So mm. thank you for help with that. Also to say, um, challenge this week is to get Shami out to a boot camp with me. Yes. So she, I'm dragging her along. If we can get her some pictures, we'll, we'll post Wednesday. them on Instagram. And if you want to join us, please <laughs> do. We're we'll in Mayford. We'll let you know where we're going. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to do a boot camp together this week. Out in the open. Out in the open. Because it's wet good and windy. It's good to be with nature, yes. Shani. Oh, I, I love, love nature. I, I, I love it. it. I love it. Yeah, get and, out there. And enjoy the rain. Enjoy Embrace the rain. Embrace it. You heat up within t five minutes. Oh. Five minutes it's it takes. Fun. Go out for a brisk walk. Come on. <laughs> Come on, people. Went to well-being. So, uh, to sum up then, if people want to get in contact with us, you can email us on startingmonday919 at gmail.com. Obviously, you can message us through Instagram or Facebook. Uh, and I think that's about it. it. So, um, have a great week, everybody. Keep up with the good work. Um, and uh, yeah, take care. Keep smiling, so, smiling and be happy. Be happy. See and you talk, <laughs> share. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic! Thanks, Alice. Bye. Bye. That was good. How's that? Film, 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 film. Oh, it's still filming. <laughs>